This short video is going to be about updating the uh, linear bearings in your hotbed on the original Persa i3 MK Mark II. Doesn't matter if you have the factory built or the kit built version. Um, basically, what's used in almost all the printers these days are these very inexpensive linear slide bearings. You got an 8mm bore for the 8mm rod that they glide on. But they, they fit really sloppily due to the way they're designed. These are very inexpensive to buy. I mean, you can buy them on eBay for under $2 with free shipping from China. But uh, for more money, these were the cheapest I could find of this type with a furlon bearing on the inside at 5 bucks plus shipping. Uh, a lot of them are a lot more expensive than that. And you, they go from 5 all the way up to 30 something. But um, what this will allow you to do is if you replace the three in your bed, because right now if you grab your bed and wiggle it like this, you'll notice that there's all kinds of play this way. In fact, if you can rattle it up and down, you'll see it rattles up and down. And you'll notice there's times during printing when the thing has a really growly buzzing sound. That's when the bearings get in just the right place and these things and the whole thing is vibrating on the rod, which that bothered me more than anything because the print quality is already really good. But if you get rid of the slop, the print quality could only be even better. So I went ahead and ordered three of these. And basically, you just cut the cable ties on the front here, here. I take the four screws off so I can get the bed off. And then each one of the old bearings, which you know used to sit there, just cut the cable ties and slide the bearing off the tube because you took the front one off, slide the new bearing down in there, drop the cable ties on, tie them down, put the four screws in, you're done. You don't have to do any realignment or, or anything on the machine, even though these have a 16 millimeter outside diameter, whereas these had a 15. It doesn't make any difference. These still fit the bottom of the plate perfectly, and because the machine automatically adjust its Z every time you do a print. It didn't make any difference if it's a half a millimeter bigger on each side. So, But once you've done that you won't have any more of the rattling, the growling, you won't have any more bed play. So it's it's a worthwhile update you know for under $20. And, and basically the uh, bearing info can be found online. This is the the one that I used and it has the furlon insert and as far as where I bought it, this is the eBay auction. You can see they were at 505. And they they did start with some hefty uh, shipping, but obviously the more you buy, then the shipping doesn't go up the same way. So it was less than 20 bucks to upgrade the whole thing. And for me it's worth it just for the noise even if the print quality doesn't get better which of course it has to because you've gotten rid of all that slop but just getting rid of that growling grinding sound that you hear every now and then now the machine is almost completely silent 